New details on an NFL star accused of serial rape. It's a serious accusation this evening as we learn even more about Darren Sharper and the sex assault investigation linked to the Valley. Now, this isn't just an Arizona case. We are learning so much more about what his accusers are now telling detectives. ABC 15's Christopher Sign continuing to go through these newly released documents tonight. And Chris, the, uh, have Tempe detectives interviewed him yet? No, as a matter of fact, they haven't yet done so, Katie. As a matter of fact, though, they did travel to Los Angeles trying to interview him in response to this investigation underway. And that's where he currently faces charges in Los Angeles. Well, when Tempe detectives got there, he declined to speak with them. Meanwhile, as allegations surfaced that Sharper drugged women in other states, these newly released reports detail this may have happened here. It's 44 pages, and much of it is blacked out in an effort to protect the identities of the victims. One of the first lines labels the former NFL star as a suspect. According to the report, Sharper made shots beforehand, and at one point, one of the women was falling asleep at the table while at a nightclub. That outing didn't last long. Once back at a Tempe apartment, according to the report, Sharper made more shots. And soon thereafter, the women were asleep. Detectives tested the shot glasses. DPS has confirmed that there was a drug in it called Zolpidem, or better known as Ambien. One woman told police she woke up in pain, realizing something had happened while she blacked out. At one point, telling police she remembered seeing Sharper on top of her friend. The other woman, according to the report, woke up without her pants on. It was separately throughout the night is what we believe. Um, they were both in different rooms. Also noted, the women told police they confronted Sharper, who, according to the report, said he didn't remember anything and denied anything had happened. By the time police were involved, Sharper was on a plane to Los Angeles. That's where he faces charges in two rape cases. Prosecutors in California laid out their case, now asking for him to be held on a $10 million bail citing seven acts of rape and 11 acts of furnishing controlled substance in four states. And as for that Tempe investigation, several items ranging from alcohol to bedding to clothing were all collected as evidence from the apartment in question here. And both women did undergo a medical examination known as a rape kit investigation at St. Luke's Hospital. And Stephen Cady, sources close to the investigation tell me detectives in all of these states are indeed looking into the possibility more women may be involved. Yeah, that's certainly one thing they have to look at here. Yes. Certainly sounds like they're working rapidly to build a case. They Thanks, are. Chris.